joining me now is Robert Harris, Director of Buffalo Public Schools Career and Technical Education. Hi, Robert. Thanks Hi. for coming in. Thank you, Chelsea. Thanks for having me. Okay, so we are here to talk about CTE, your department. So tell me about what you guys do there. Well, we have career and technical education is um, what we used to call vocational education. What we want to do is get the uh, statement out there that we still have vocational programming in all of our schools um, from grade 7 all the way to grades 12. Absolutely. So this month is actually Manufacturer's Month, and tomorrow is Manufacturer's Day. So tell me about that. Absolutely. So Manufacturing Day tomorrow is going to be held at um, Burgard High School. Um, what we're trying to do is get our students excited about manufacturing, getting them into the position to be employed and after they take the training um, based on what we have to offer them tomorrow. So tomorrow there's going to be a great number of employers, trainers, simulators, that students can have and touch and understand what they need to do in order to be employed in a manufacturing field. And tell me about some of the sponsors that you have for the day. So we have Blue Forge Alliance. Blue Forge Alliance is a partner with uh, that is working with us to build and learn how to teach students to build submarines. Also, we have the submarine industry base that is working with us. We have Segway Infratech, who is a partner. There are gonna be many more partners. There is gonna be Moog there, Eaton is going to be there. So there are several industries in our local area that are going to be there tomorrow to give information and show you what you need to do in order to be employed. Some of us may not be going on to college, but that is not to say that that's not an option, but we have training that can get you right into the world of work and gather you a career so you can buy a home, you can buy a car, those things. And we want to make sure that everybody in the community understand that that is available to them. I love that you're talking about this because you're right. College is not for everyone and that's okay, but it's important to know that there are other options out there for you to be able to go on, work, and be successful. And that's exactly what the state education department is trying to get us to do. It's offer several pathways to graduation, several pathways pathways to success in America, to be able to have those things that you would like to do to be uh, successful in this world. Can you tell us a little bit more about the possible career paths that there are for your students to take? So there's uh, possible career paths in welding, there's CNC machining, uh, there's also uh, other areas that they can get into that deal in uh, different technical fields. So we're going to train you in those different technical fields so that you can get started right away. Or you can move on to college if you need to move on to college, but you have a base, a foundation to get you ready for the world to work, or you can get started on a career and after college. And I love how that you're into this because you don't actually have a background in manufacturing, but not, you're still here. Not at all. I'm actually a graduate of career and technical education programming. Back in that day, it was called vocational education. I am a certified chef. Um, I've been in the industry for 15 to 20 years. Um, but after that 15 years, a teacher came to me that I had, and she was like, why don't you become a teacher? And I thought she was crazy, but <laughs> I ended up taking a position as a teacher, and then I went on to become an administrator of these programs. So right now I've been doing this for 14 years. I've dealt with specifically seventh and eighth grade for about eight of those and now I'm moving on to high school and I've got the whole gamut of the career and technical education department for Buffalo schools. What has been some of the feedback about this program now that you're implementing and spearheading? I believe there's a lot of excitement about it mm -hmm. because people thought that we were gone. They thought that vocational education was dead. Right. There, I, the excitement that we're building is you can get into work as soon as possible because we offer these pathways to you. So when you're offering a pathway to prosperity, that changes everything. It changes what the people feel about it in our communities. Well, for Manufacturer's Day tomorrow, tell me when and where is this all of this happening? It's going to be at Burgard High School. It's one of our major manufacturing schools. In fact, it's called the Advanced Manufacturing Program that they have over there. Um, we're going to be at 400 Kensington. We're going to have private sessions for our school age students. Okay. But then at 3.30 to 5.30, there's going to be an opening to the community because we want the community to know that you can come right in right now, you can get that training, and you can get started in that world of work as soon as possible. We're trying to close those gaps, those opportunity gaps for our communities and make sure that everybody has a chance to be successful. 
thank you so much for coming in and stopping by. Where can our viewers learn more information about all that you guys do? Well, if right now you can go to uh, buffaloschools.org slash CTE and you'll find our CTE website and we'll be able to give you a whole gamut of the programming that we have with Buffalo Schools. We have about 29 programs Oh wow! and we're trying to grow those programs. We're trying to make sure that they're industry related and they can get you right into the workforce either at the entry level or you can go on to college because that's a requirement by state ed is that we offer several pathways. Yes, that's amazing. I love that you're, like I said, I love that you're creating this option for people. It's just giving people different things to think about. Um, if college is your career path, that is an amazing thing. Absolutely. If it's not, there's so many other things for you to do, and there's training to make sure that you're able to get out there and do your best. Absolutely. How, Absolutely. What's been some of the response from people that have been in part of this program? The response is, we've always talked to people, and people say, we've lost those programming. Do you still have them? And I say, yes, they're still here. And they get excited, and they're always asking me, how do we make the attachment? How do we get our kids in them? What are we offering for our adults? So this is the time is tomorrow for us to offer all of this information and give you more information about the pathways that we have to offer. We have several large partners that are working with us at this time. Um, we talked about um, the Blue Forge Alliance. Well, we have IBM that's at the table. We have Tesla that's at the table. Northland Workforce is working with us on this tomorrow, as well as many other people that are out there. So we, the partnerships that we're building is going to help us move it the way we need to move it and I think that our community is going to benefit because of it. I can't wait to see what's in the future for this Robert. Thank you so much for coming in and again viewers Manufacturers Day is happening tomorrow October 17th from 3 30 to 5 30 at Burg Burgard High School. Thanks again for coming in. Thank you so much for having me Chelsea.